Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. You can't lean on money for attraction. You can't lean on it because there's always an argument out there, you know, guys talking about money, 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 and all of this. And, you know, of course, there's some women out there, oh, you got to have this much money, this much money, whatever, whatever. Now, yes, of course, there's some women definitely influenced by money. But the, here's the thing. Those women who are influenced by money, they still looking at other stuff. Because even a gold digger is still looking at certain guys. And they still looking at their physicality. They still want to deal with certain types of personalities. So, yeah, you want to have money, but uh, really you want to have it for yourself. But you don't want to just say, I got this much money and think you want to get a woman. Like I said, even the gold diggers want a guy to look a certain way. But the thing is, you just can't lean on it. Because see, here's something else. Say you are trying to lean on it. And say you actually come across a woman, uh, a gold digger. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But the thing is, if that woman is dealing with you primarily for money, what do you think is going to happen when somebody else with more money comes along? Or even more status? What do you think is going to happen? I want y'all to really think about that. Because the thing is with money, think about something with money. First of all, is it really attractive? Because how is a woman going to know you have money? She got to be attracted enough to you to even talk to you. You know, you walking around with expensive stuff on, you can have, hey, you can have that watch on, expensive watch or, uh, you know, all those expensive clothes. But even then, she is looking at how you walking around with it on. Are you walking confidently or are you one of these dudes? You, you see some of these dudes, they might got something expensive and they trying to flash it and everything and everybody see through them like he's still a dork. I'm serious. I'm serious. Just think about it. I want you to think about it because think about money. It's a tool. It's not a living thing. It's not something that's going to make her have an orgasm. It's not something that's going to give her a baby. It's strictly a tool. Now, yes, of course, there's some women attracted to that tool, but are they attracted to the person behind it? I want y'all to think about that. What I just say a minute ago, you know, if you think it is just money and there's actually a woman just dealing with you for money, what happens when the man with more money comes into the picture? And then even to get to that point, like I say, you still you still got to talk to the woman. She actually know you got money. You ain't walking around. Are you walking around with your bank statement out? Because honestly, uh, the men who really have money, a lot of times, they don't show it. It's usually somebody who's poor and struggling who's going to buy all this expensive stuff to wear. Somebody who actually has money, you know, even if they're wearing expensive clothes, they usually go beyond the normal name brand clothes. I remember a commenter said that one time. They're wearing like, uh, like the, because the really expensive clothing are made from better materials and stuff. And they not always something that you know. It ain't the name brands you know. Because a lot of times, anytime somebody, especially a man with money, if he's smart, he's not gonna always show it blatantly. It's usually like some new money or somebody just coming into a little bit, gotta act like they got it, then you find out they're broke. You know, I remember down in the DC area, uh, I remember this uh, contractor, he was telling me about these uh, people living in these big old expensive houses, but they couldn't have, they didn't have furniture and they couldn't have uh, afford to fix their roof if there was a leak, but the house was big, you know? So, you know, that, that's one thing. See, one of the things you wanna do is, for first understand money is for yourself. Money is for yourself. So you can live a sovereign life. So you can eat, sleep well, you know? So you can drive places uh, in a good car that stays working or that you can fix it. It's for your life. Now, if a woman come along and you know, y'all cool, yeah, she could probably benefit from it, but don't lead with it. And see, that's another thing too. If you're trying to lean on money for attraction, that means you're trying to tell a woman that, you know, hey, I got this money, I got this money. Or you really attract. All you really attract at best is a gold digger. Now, like I said, yeah, they still got to be, have some level of physical attraction for you and everything, but all you saying is I'm a mark. 
And so that'll be the woman who's going to be like, well, all right, you need to take me to all these fancy places. You need to do this. They'll just give you the impression. And the slicker ones, they won't even ask. They'll say, oh, he's trying to give his money. Let me just play along like he's winning. They'll give you a little bit. They'll give you, take it to a fancy dinner. You know what? She'll give you that little kiss. She might grind up on you a little bit. Won't give you any sex because, you know, she ain't that type of woman. And then, you know, and she'll like, she'll milk you for every penny you got. Let me say that again. She'll milk you for every penny you got. Now, let me be clear on this. This ain't saying acting like you poor or broke or anything. Or, but you need, to, you need to understand true attraction is physical. True attraction is mental. You need to work on those no matter what, because first of all, it works. How is it you have so many men out here who, you know, at best they make it a modest living. At best they make it a modest living. They don't, they don't have that money and status and everything. Yeah, it does work, but what does it work for? But you get some guys that don't have those things and yet they got women lined up. That's because they just, they just them. They are just them. They not the tool. Because you always got to, you even, even if you're getting a lot of attention, you got some money and status, you always have to ask yourself, does a woman really want it? Because I've said it. They, yeah, they'll go for some men with some money and status. Yeah. You know, they want that lifestyle and everything. And now some guys will say, well, yeah, that's okay. But here's the funny thing. Once they get past all of that, they don't like what's underneath. They don't like it. Once they get past all that superficial stuff, they don't like it. Yeah, the guys get the woman initially, and some guys know how to play that. But if you really want a relationship, if you really want a woman, and let's be real, a lot of guys out here want a woman. A lot of guys, that's why a lot of guys complaining about women's body counts. They wouldn't care if they just wanted to be player player. They appreciate that. No, a lot of guys care because they're looking for a relationship. No shame in it or something. But you want that woman to relate to you who you are as a man, you know? Not, not how much money you got in your bank account because that can change. That can change. And many women have done that. All of a sudden, they get with some guy, he, you know, that status goes or that, that money's gone. They ready to go too. Is that what you want? No, nah, don't lean on it. Yeah, you have the money. Yeah, make as much money as you can. But don't lean on it. You know, don't make it. You find out what's up with that woman. And you don't have to play games with her or anything. Just talk to, you know, talk to her, see what's up. You know, you can still tell her what you do and everything. Hell, you can even tell her what, um, uh, how much money you make. Okay, don't lean on it though. She need to be that type of woman who will be ride or die when there's peaks and valleys. The average millionaire goes bankrupt three times. People have all gone through some peaks and valleys. Anybody successful will tell you that. You want the type of woman who's going to ride through those uh, valleys with you because she sees who you are as a person. Now, based on some stuff that go, comes and goes, you, that's what you want, all right? So don't lean on money for attraction, all right? She needs to be attracted to you for who you are as a person. At best, she needs to be attracted to you when it, with, with, with regard to money for the type of man who can keep money coming in. Now, if she's attracted to those traits, those are, those are all right, because those are just your traits. That's who you are. Oh, I can get that. But if she's more worried about, like, a specific bank accounts or something, no. No, don't do it. Don't do it. So, anyway, that's all I have for right now. I'll get back with you all later. Peace and blessings.